What's up, gamers? I'm John, and this is my level up news, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Thursday, April 18th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up for today's news. During an interview, Paul Sasko from CD Projekt Red delved into changes underway following the launch of Cyberpunk 2077. He mentioned that Cyberpunk 2 is currently in early stages of development, while The Witcher 4, under the codename Polaris, is actively being worked on. Studios' ambitious plan involved releasing three Witcher games within six years with a team of 400 personnel expected by mid-2024. Cyberpunk 2's development includes collaboration between studios located in Boston, Poland, and Vancouver. Tesco also discussed the transition away from Cyberpunk 2077 after Phantom Liberty. Alongside The Witcher and Cyberpunk sequel, CD Projekt Red's roster includes Project Saurus and Project Canis. Despite the enthusiasm surrounding these projects, managing the flow of work remains a considerable challenge. With the release of Hades 2's technical test, players embark on a journey with the new protagonist, Melanie, feeling the familiar muscle memory of the original game. She navigates through Hades' hall in search of her missing family. Melanie's movements echo those of her predecessor. However, her journey is distinct, marked by uncertainty and more deliberate narrative progression. With extended gameplay abilities and a refined progression system, Hades 2 promises a deeper and more immersive experience. Despite the genre's evolution since the original launch, Hades 2 appears posed to redefine the roguelike landscape once again. Norris for the Wicked, a highly anticipated ARPG from the creators of Ori and the Blind Force, launches into early access on Steam today, offering players a glimpse into its expansive world. While initially exclusive to Steam, the game is slated for release on Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5 in the future. Described as the studio's most ambitious project yet, the game promises a wide array of systems, features, and narratives, with plans for continuous development based on player feedback. With upcoming additions such as multiplayer co-op, PvP, extended story content, and new gameplay mechanics like farming and the adult rated RPG is set to evolve significantly before its full release. The Hades 2 technical test launched just a day ago and it's already sparking revelations among them, particularly concerning the identity of the narrator. Developer Supergiant Games have teased the impending beta hinting at imminent early access release. Now, as players delve into the underworld, encouraging details are emerging. Notably, a discovery shared on the Hades subreddit suggests that Melioni, the protagonist, directly addresses the narrator as Homer, shedding light on their identity and hinting at the unexpected level of interaction between characters. This revelation, drawn from the Greek mythology, has sparked varied reactions from fans, with some anticipating it and others caught off guard. As excitement builds for Hades 2, Supergiant Games continues to impress surprising fans with unexpected reveals and maintaining a high level of engagement with the community. Helldivers 2 popularity remains high, but recent demands from players have called the developer Arrowhead 2 prioritize game bugs over new content. A task the studio acknowledges is a straightforward. Despite the game's focus on battling bugs, Arrowhead has been consistently delivering new content since launch, but a long list of known issues persists. Responding to requests for more focus on bug fixing, a community manager highlighted the challenge of balancing content update with technical improvements. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.